guys, I'm Lincoln N, and today I'm going to teach you how to tail whip. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. So I've been getting some requests on tail whips recently, and I thought it would be a good tutorial to do, because it's a good beginner scooter trick, and helps you get into lines and whatever. Just another beginner trick like after 180s. So whips, there are a few steps you need to know and things that you can practice to help you. Personally, it took me forever to learn how to tail whip. Like I'm talking years, like I wasn't that good at scootering. Like, but I didn't practice that much, but like I was trying. And so don't get discouraged because it may, you may learn it really quick like other, like people have. And you'll be like, oh dang, I can tail whip already. But it may take you a while, so just don't quit. Just keep on trying. Eventually, one day, you'll get it. So the basis of the tail whip is flick your deck around and bring it around under you as you're sort of jumping. So just like this. So if you're riding regular, it will come like this. If you're riding goofy, it'll go like that, okay? So there are things you want to practice for tail whip. It's moving your feet, getting your scooter around. So there are things you're gonna wanna practice for tail whips. One is moving your foot and getting your scooter around. And the other is... Is the spin of your scooter with your hand. Two is learning step off, whip, step off whips, which are pretty much everything for tail whip. Just instead of jumping up in the air, you're stepping off your scooter and whipping at it. Okay, I'll show you some examples. So, in a step off whip, as you're riding, you step off with your forward foot, with your back foot, whip it around, and then jump back on again. This will help you get the motions down of your tail whip, so that when you're ready and you feel like you can do it fast, you can try and add in a jump. One problem I had with tail whips was that I felt like my jump, I was always just jumping off and I was whipping, and or one of my foot would come off right as I jumped. Finding that this is happening to you, like your left foot can stay up or one of your feet can stay up, but your other one just keeps on hitting the ground, try this. So what you're gonna wanna do is try and keep your feet together as much as you can and think of it as bringing your feet up to your bars. You won't be able to bring them up to your bars, but just thinking of it will help you get a higher jump. Bring your feet high. Keep your feet together and bring them really high. Like that. Okay, so you got that, but say you're still, you just can't get the whip around fast enough or whatever. Try them off a curb or a ramp like I have here. Guys, once you've gotten them off the side, it's time to go flat. Just honestly try your best. It will take multiple tries and just don't get frustrated. I'll show you some examples. My camera isn't great at slow-mo, but I'll try and break it down just so you can see really what I'm doing to tail whip, but that would pretty much be it for the tutorial. One more tip that I forgot to add is the easier, it's easier to spin it the further your feet back, it gets more leverage on the scooter. If your feet are up here, it's hard to spin, but if your feet, like both your feet are really far back, you can get a lot of whip on your scooter. That's just one tip that'll help you. So keep your feedback as far as you can. So guys, thank you everybody for watching this video. I really hope it helped. If I have any more tips, I'll just put them in a vlog or something. But a lot of you are requesting that, so here it is. I, like, that's what helped me tail whip. Those are just tips that help me learn. If you have any questions, leave them down. I'll try and respond to all of your comments. See you guys all in the next video.